<laughs> Hello and welcome to BB on Blast. BB UK and BB Australia AU. edition. edition. <laughs> <laughs> so if you're here for Big Brother Australia talk, there'll be plenty it of it. It will be coming. Yeah, oh, there will be loads of it. I've got reams of notes. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> but I haven't noted one episode, so I'm going to lean on you for that. Oh, one. Jesus. And. Yeah, skip forward if you if you don't want to hear UK stuff because we skip forward between five and fifty minutes. We are. <laughs> how do we make it so long every damn time? I didn't. I can't believe that last episode was so long. Um, we are having a bit of a BBUK revival, aren't we, to celebrate twenty years of Big Brother? Well, twenty years Not since Big Brother us. started. Many people. Yeah, so we've got to talk about Big Brother UK, which is being shown every night mm. at the moment. Well, Sunday to Thursday. Yeah, I wish I'd just space out a little bit. Give us a couple <laughs> of days said, off in between. <laughs> you just said you found it a bit too much being on every night. I think I've got to watch it live, got to tweet along. It's like, oh, We God. need the engagement. Yeah, but I wish it was on the weekends. Like, weekdays, it's like boring. I'd rather do it the weekends when I've had a Why drink. is it only Sunday to Thursday? Like, what's wrong with Friday and Saturday? Yeah, those are the days I'd enjoy watching it. So is it because like, nah. Britain's Got Talents on or something? Oh, They don't probably. want to compete with it. Yeah. But why is it on E4? I still don't understand why it's on E4. It oh, yeah, on you said, 4. put it on Channel 4, didn't you? You said, at <laughs> 12 40, 9 p.m. <laughs> you know, Lindsay's wearing Big Brother earrings, by the way. I know, These are like nice. What, did someone give the, those to no, you? No, but uh, Gary bought me a neck, uh, necklace yeah. with the eye on, but no, these are just cheaper. We ones. haven't introduced ourselves this week. Do you think Hi. people are new and they don't know who we are? Oh, if they've, <laughs> if so, they've already given up. <laughs> I'm Lindsay. <laughs> and I'm Gaz. And welcome to BB on Blast. <laughs> um, so we're you know outside, what, we're socially distanced. Yeah. No, we're in our support bubble. Support yeah, we're bubble. in the support bubble now. Fucking <laughs> um. <laughs> <laughs> hell. So have you enjoyed watching the old BB UKs? Yeah, I have actually. It's, I've enjoyed you know all what? the tweeting. I've enjoyed it all but one episode. <laughs> oh, oh, well. Nasty Nick. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> I loved it that they started with Nasty Nick because yeah. I feel like that's such an important moment in Big Brother UK history, don't you? Who's that? Someone's <laughs> delivery's arrived. Fucking hell. A little cameo from the He's delivery. He's going to come over to us. Because okay? <laughs> uh, we're going to think it's for whatever it is. For. We can take it. <laughs> but I probably wouldn't so, like Speaking it. of that, I had mm. some pillow. I ordered some pillows, right, on Amazon. Mm. And oh, they were being good. delivered by Hermes. Hermes is the shittest oh, delivery company ever. Good luck. I saw a show about Hermes the other day. Do you mm. know what they do? What? They auction off all the packages they can't deliver. I bet they and they do. like try and deliver it once. They can't send it. They can't <laughs> deliver it. So they investigate it on the BBC. Half that stuff's got a name and address and a, even a phone number at times. And they just put it to auction. <laughs> Are you joking? <laughs> no. It's mad. That is insane. Dan lost a Nintendo Switch to Hermes. Crap delivery. Well, you can pick it up again on eBay. The exact same <laughs> one. <laughs> um, I think they, you go to an auction house for it. But anyway, my pillows didn't come, so I was like, oh, my pillows aren't here. And then mm. they, they said there was a problem. Anyway, Hermes now says it's been delivered to my address. Oh, it no. Hasn't. Oh, you're fucked. My, um, I don't think my neighbours would take it. Normally, they leave it outside your door. It turns out tired they were. <laughs> <laughs> um, Just fell asleep on them there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Anyway, stick, say, stick to the subject. Oh, yeah, nasty Nick. Off the Nick. tangent halfway through. Sorry. Not the beginning. <laughs> <laughs> I tweeted that I really think, like, without Nasty Nick cheating and that, mm. the, the gravitas of that moment, that um, <laughs> Big Brother UK wouldn't have lasted the um, 18 years that it did. You weren't the only one that tweeted that. Really? Yeah. Mm. Even Davina said Broken that. Broken our right? record. Did you? <laughs> yeah, <it's> like... <laughs> no original content it's here. It's true, though, isn't it? We owe a lot to Nasty Nick. We do. He was writing, Seriously, writing down Nick. names. Showing names. Writing down names. Uh, <laughs> plotting a very devious stroke dirty, <laughs> dirty. plan. Dirty. <laughs> yeah, it's dirty, isn't it? Dirty plan. It was devious back in the day. It's just Mandela effect. <laughs> then. I feel like you're responsible for that. Uh, yeah, like, I, I am. Probably, I rewrote history. probably learned that from Big Brother Bio, actually. Yeah, it's like, do you even kiss me? It's like <laughs> just a made-up thing that never actually happened. Do you even kiss me? Did that happen? <laughs> yeah, no, it did. It did, didn't it? <laughs> But it probably wasn't those exact words. Who knows? Things um, change over time. History. Uh, you're an unreliable <laughs> narrator to your own history. Oh, it's very, very <laughs> profound. It's your tattoo you know of the what? week. <laughs> no, my tattoo of the week is weak. 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 It's big silicon thunder fires um. <laughs> for a courtesy of Pete Burns. <laughs> Who's he talking about? I don't know. Tracy Bingham, I think. Oh. Oh, I wouldn't mind having her. look all right by me. Um, yeah, so what I liked was that they showed it as exactly as it was. And I said, you know, people mm. will say this is boring, mm. but this is pure, the purest Big Brother. And Ryland said it, like, you never recapture that moment of people didn't know what it was. 
what it was mm. going to be or like how it was going to blow up or if anyone would be watching at all. I do agree. The only problem with that episode was you yeah. never got to see him actually kicked out. Yeah. You never got to see him crying under the covers, which is one of my favourite like they, bits. Uh, yeah, I felt like they really yeah. cut the diary room short. Yeah. Is it because it's not suitable for 2020? <laughs> well, how come clearly, clearly as behaviour is suitable for Exactly. Like, I want to know, what have they cut out? Sexism is like the last thing that you're allowed to do. We'll have to have a Women Lives Matter coming <laughs> But not for a God, while, because it can be bothered. <laughs> controversial. That's a the Do you know what? Point. While we're on the, need to stick together. While we're on the subject, isn't it sickening that like the white supremacists went out to sort of protect the statues and beat up <laughs> anyone in their lads. past? The fo- what was it called? <laughs> I can't remember. You said that sounds like something from your nightmares. <laughs> yeah, the military something football <laughs> lads. I was like, oh god. <laughs> Do you see them? Oh, yeah. They're rednecks. But isn't it sad that that's like shut down the protest for Black mm. Lives Matter at all? Mm. Basically, that that action has been silenced by those fucking has it? idiots. Yeah, because who's going to go out if those people are going to be there brawling mm. for no reason? Like, if you want to have a peaceful protest, peaceful protest, you can't. Probably get fucking football in your face. Well, the football's back on now, so hopefully they'll be, oh, they'll be otherwise inside. occupied. Oh, yeah, that's yeah, true. Beating the shit out of each other instead. Yeah, yeah it's just a I feel team. A, I feel a bit gooey because I think I've lost sight of the actual matters that... that the, the political matters that matter mm. at the moment because Big Brother's on. I'm like, oh, <laughs> oh, oh Big black, Brother. Black lives what? <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh, Big Brother Australia, Big Brother UK. Lewis messaged me, actually WhatsApped me and said, oh, I shouldn't say because it's a private message, but <laughs> uh, no, I'll say the bit that's... <laughs> he said, oh, here we go anyway. hey baby. No, not really. Is it about his grinder? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I want to get to the bottom of that. <laughs> no, he said your bit on Black Lives Matter was really good on the last podcast. He said, "Have you and Gaz considered doing a, a podcast about current affairs?" Oh, I don't know who's taking the piss or not. He's actually <laughs> learnt something yeah. from it. Maybe um, <laughs> that's interesting. Didn't tell I me know, that. Obviously, but, more impressed by your input. Of course, we all know <laughs> I'm the woke one. Um, <laughs> but I thought that was interesting. But to be honest, I think on a Big Brother podcast we can talk about those matters probably half convincingly. On an actual podcast <laughs> yeah. about those matters, we're, we're, like, oh. we're coming kind of stuck on the we'll first. Probably sentence. still just be referencing Big Brother all the yeah. time. So there's no point, is it? <laughs> it it's just, the same thing. Yeah, it wouldn't work. <laughs> but it's a nice idea. Um, <laughs> Yeah, how have you... What did you think watching Big Brother 1? Were you like, oh, actually, it is a bit shit? I didn't even realise they were filming the episode <laughs> in its entirety until the episode had finished. Filming the episode, showing the, I thought it was the highlights that they were showing about nice. Of a whole series. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Do you know what's confusing? Mm. They labelled the date incorrectly at one point. Oh. So it was day 34, and then at one point it said day 35. Oh my God. Then it went back to day 34, but I think Big Brother just made a fuck up on the show. I see. So you got to the bit where... Darren and Craig had decided to discuss and they mm. were going to like unearth it mm. and there was a bit of like do you remember when Nick came into the bedroom yeah. to go to bed that is the weirdest scene it's obviously so dark oh, you can't and... see you stand in there like in the shadows oh, I talk to yourself in the morning <laughs> <laughs> on, on this occasion Nick yeah. I'm not very happy <laughs> <laughs> that was good <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, Nick's like, oh morning. yes, well, the girls they always get upset yeah. before nominations. Yeah. <laughs> Probably on their period. Yeah, yeah like Nadia. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Um. Um. Yes. Yeah, I, I really liked seeing Mel have that discussion with Nick though. Where mm. she was comforting him. Oh yeah. After being rumbled she was about, nice to him, wasn't she? yeah, he was ready to walk or something, mm. and she was like, "You can't, you can't do that because it's going to be healthy out there." Oh yeah, and I was she like, was right. That's really sort of like massive um, how did she foresight. Know? Yeah. yeah. How did you know? Yeah. Because I suppose no one really knew if anyone was watching, but I guess they were primed from the fact that it had blown up in the Netherlands already. Yeah. And didn't they say Spain had it before us too? Yeah. Someone, heard, I think I heard that this week. It, Oh, maybe, yeah, mm. probably Germany or something like that. Um, what about, well, yeah. on the subject, D- Davina and Ryland presenting this programme? Uh, Are you for or against? We've got an email about it, by the way, which I gl- gl- glanced over. Is it from someone we know? Uh, it, was, it was from someone new. Oh, good. Yeah. Um, what do I think? Uh, Ryland is the dominant presenter, actually, which do I'm quite know? surprised about. Do you not think? I feel like Ryland leads it. Mm. It's like a Zoom call, isn't it? It's like them having a chat. It's just so cringe. I just try not you to think pay it's attention cringe? to those bits. Oh, yeah. Really? Yeah. <laughs> um, I, I didn't tweet it because you know do you know what it's like, unpopular to say but it's just like oh stop <laughs> it's like all about them it's like it's when not they, about you like, they didn't, the I didn't need to see Rylan and Davina sing the song at the end of yesterday's episode oh, the God. endless love song but I understand they're trying to be funny <laughs> <We'll keep laughs> be funny, funny. funny. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
I'm really here for Davina entertaining the idea of Big Brother again because I felt like for a long time she ignored it. Mate, your want... tweet has never been more apt. She didn't. She fucking acted like she never heard of Big Brother for like <laughs> ten years, and now suddenly she's like, "Yeah, Big Brother, yeah, yeah, Big Brother." Yeah. It's like I know, and I'm what? really, I'm really interested. It in, annoys me. In this thought process. We've been here this whole fucking time. Yeah, and she's coming back in claiming it's like, no, you can't present. I don't think she should present it. I think Ryan should should present it if it comes back. So, you know what? How do you like that? Funnily, how do you like those eleven <laughs> bananas? Uh, Five hundred <laughs> bananas. Um, um, funnily enough, I do feel like perhaps this is a segue into Rylan becoming a bigger presenter in Big Brother because he's taking the lead from Davina on this convers- in these conversations. Maybe the they're time. sort of testing them out side by side to see oh, who's. Oh yes. Oh, maybe they are. Did see you? Who's good. Did you notice that there was a presenter not invited to the show on the Zoom call? Mm. We had Emma come in and Dermot. Oh, Dermot. Brian Dowling. Brian Dowling, who mm. was also a main show presenter, ignored. Well, no, no surprise the way they treated him. Treated him like shit when he was a presenter. That's true. I, I, it still annoys me the way Brian Dowling got tweet, treated, even by fans well, as the a way presenter. He was, was, he wasn't I, a good presenter. He wasn't a good presenter, but it wasn't his fault. They shouldn't have given him the job You're if right. he couldn't they present. Have done. Yeah, they so, removed him in a really unceremonious way. Though. Yeah, Did you know that? You shouldn't treat a two-time winner like that. <laughs> two-time winner, don't you forget it. <laughs> um, also, um, Brian just found my tweet from about three years ago, <laughs> didn't he? Saying it. that it was a final that mattered when he mm. was in it. I don't know how. He's obviously been off Twitter for ages he's or something. searching his own name. <laughs> <laughs> Which is fine. <laughs> also, I know Russell Brand, but Russell's a bit Aww. bigger than Big Brother now, isn't he? Jack was saying to me, you don't know how good you had it when you used to watch Big Brother. It was like this, and then you had Russell Brand talking about it afterwards. Amazing. So I was like, Tell me about yeah. it. I was like, but I said, like, kind of like I felt like we did know how good we had it. Like, it was yeah, so we good. Definitely we were did. like, yeah. <laughs> and then when it got shit and shit, it was like, oh, oh shit, that was never good. Mind. We'll still stick with it. Yeah, stick with it. I said that to Marcus yesterday. I was like, mm. I've stuck with Big Brother through the highest highs and the lowest lows, mm. and like, I'll always be there. So is he. So is he, yeah. <laughs> In that little booth, <laughs> the pay gets less and less. <laughs> and the viewers get fewer purely, and fewer. Purely speculating that. <laughs> so yeah, anyway, Davina, I'm really glad that Davina's actually acknowledging Big Brother again, but you are right, she did turn her back on the show for a long, for a long time. Emma Willis is a turncoat, she don't respect Big Brother, and nor does Davina. But it is nice to see Davina back and talking about Big Brother. Do you know what I, feel? I think? Davina can't fucking see the screen that Ryland's on. I feel like oh. she's squinting and looking down the bottom half the time. Oh, old <laughs> <laughs> just like Alma don't you think that, <laughs> don't you think oh, fucking hell don't stop uh, no, I think what no I'm not going to say it go on Stavina's just so annoying <gasps> she my just dad is. said Davina still, still annoys him as well she's annoying as hell and Jack agreed and James used to hate Davina so just uh, I know the <laughs> right, super fans love, love her I know you I do I'm trying to get a fucking exclusive with Davina on this podcast oh well, it's just that she's annoying. I mean, even she would accept that. That's just a fact. Uh, I don't say I hate her or anything. Just that she don't care about your brother and she's annoying. <laughs> <laughs> Apart from that, the thing she's is, great. in her interview, um, which I like the Channel now. 4 Press put out, she said, um, <laughs> did you get the press pack, by the way? No. Oh, yeah, I think I did. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> we got the initial press release but I didn't get the press pack actually so it's uh. a bit bitter but um, and I even emailed the guy back and said thanks for including me but um, she said we're not a proper Big Brother website and like Endemol came up to her and said you know do you want to be involved in this Big Brother project and she said as soon as she had Big Brother she said mm. yes she didn't even know what it was oh. so what I really want to get to the bottom of mm. is like why did Davina so sort of ardently turn her back on Big Brother is that a word ardently mm. like is that a word? Yeah. <laughs> like, she seemed to really... I know that the whole... The official line is, I said goodbye to Big Brother when it had a funeral and I did yeah. my morning. And that's what yeah. she said. But I want to know, like, really, yeah. did she think it was going to turn crap? Did she think no one was going to watch it anymore? Yeah. Did she think it was going to be an embarrassment? Don't you think it was on the downturn and that's when she got out? Or she probably just had enough of it. She'd done it for so fucking long. Maybe, but she felt like she really loved it. Yeah. Like, yeah, wholeheartedly, it, as much as I do. Yeah, but it's probably like a boyfriend who you love a lot and then you just oh you cut all ties yeah, yeah you just, actually that might be yeah you wouldn't still want people go oh do you still watch it as if you still watch something when you were the host and now you're the host no more yeah. you'd be jealous as fuck wouldn't you <laughs> and people ask uh, me, yeah and I want to know was she was it hard to course. see Emma and oh, no sorry Brian take take the helm <laughs> no because she would have been laughing <laughs> 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 yeah I know what you mean anyway mm. Mm. enough of Davina and Ryland what about the content of these episodes oh yeah so Nasty Nick I mean that was still it, it, we we already did. If you want to know our full thoughts on that, listen yeah. to our oh. BB on blast, blast, blast from the past, from the past episode where we cover the whole of season one. It's called Live by the Sword. So there's no real no, point going into all that again. But again, it's worth saying 
the actual dramatics about what actually happened. Yeah.